Hello everyone, welcome back to Simplicity Imagine. So in this video, I was painting five different calculator lids, just a little Christmas present. The first steps of painting all the calculators was just doing a base coat. Most of them required a white base coat before applying other colored base coats to that. By the way, the paints that I'm using on these calculator lids are acrylic paints, and they're from the brand Artist Off, which you can find at Michaels, that's just their store brand. And then the paint markers I'm using are from the brand Posca. You can find those all over YouTube, so if you question their ability, then go check check out some other videos. The next step in the process was to sketch out the designs that my friends picked out. Some of my friends were a little bit indecisive, so I decided to base some of their ideas off of ones that I found on Pinterest. As you can see here in this first calculator lid, I am painting Squidward from SpongeBob SquarePants, if you guys didn't know that. My normal art style usually involves nature scenes or portrait paintings, but in this case, the cartoon character was a good challenge for me. The next calculator I worked on was this sunset scene over the ocean, which was a really pretty one. And in fact, this was probably my favorite one to paint because, you know, you can never go wrong with nature. Nature is imperfect and that's why it's so perfect. Obviously, that's a contradictory statement if you just so happen to listen to the commentary. However, I said that just to put the emphasis that anyone can paint nature. All you have to do is just follow Bob Ross. Aside from that minor tangent, I based my painting off of a Google search image. I just looked up oil painting sunset, and yes, I know that I'm painting with acrylic. However, the oil painting results showed much more vibrant results. They were already translated into painting versus painting from a real photo, which you're supposed to do, but I didn't feel like it, but it ended up turning out great. So, you know, in the end, everyone's happy. It's a win-win. Anyways, the last steps to completing this calculator lid, I put on this sparkly clear coat and then I put on a spray on glossy coat from the brand Rust Oleum. It'll show up later in the video, so you'll get a visual. The next calculator I worked on was this koi fish painting. Now the person who requested this wanted this to be a Japanese style, so I found a painting of a koi fish on Pinterest. However, it was a painting on silk with a purple fish instead of a red fish on a calculator lid, so it did vary a little bit, but I decided the red would be way prettier and it would pop way more than just purple. So during the drying processes, I switched between all five different calculators just to finish up small touch-ups. So in this case, I was just completing the Squidward details on his face because I had to redraw, make sure it's sort of in proportion compared to the picture. Obviously, I made his face a little bit shorter in my version versus the photo reference. The next calculator lid I worked on was extremely hard to find some photo references because the person who requested this just gave me the broad topic of Asian art. So initially I wanted to do a scenery with some nice black mountains in the background and some cherry blossom trees up front, but instead I settled on this nice blue flower with some green leaves and I really enjoyed the result of this and definitely would do this style again. By the way, if you're wondering how long the time frame is for painting these lids, it averages between one to two hours or so, depending on the intricacy of the design. Once the blue flower was almost complete, I then moved back to the koi fish calculator, and then I started tracing it with this nice golden paint pen. It's by the brand Craftsmart, and you can find that at Michaels. It works really nice. I haven't tried the Posca metallic pens, but I'm assuming the quality of the Craftsmart pen is just as good as the Posca ones. Honestly, my favorite part of the process was just tracing with the golden paint pen because it was so shiny and pretty. So here's the final look of the blue flower painting, and I'm just gonna do a little slow-mo action for all of you to so enjoy. So I'm in my garage right now. I'm just getting ready to spray my calculator lid with this uh, two times ultra cover gloss clear from Rust Oleum. It just gives a nice durable layer so that the paint doesn't start chipping. You first gotta violently shake it and proceed to spray. Now I can't really spray with my left hand, so I'm just gonna do it off camera, but you get the gist. So when you're spraying this, make sure you do at least two even layers. So you just go from the bottom and just spray across like that if you didn't know how to do it. After that quick process was completed, I then went back to the koi fish calculator. And since the fins were looking pretty boring, I wanted to spice it up a little bit, give it a little more depth, a touch of realism by just lightening up some of the areas where light would touch and darkening up those corner edges. This simple technique makes your painting look 10 times more professional and it makes it look like you spent more time working on it as well. So before I spray on the Rust-Oleum clear coat, I like to do this Deco Art Craft Twinkles Crystal Coat. It's clear as well, it just makes the colors pop and it also gives those nice little sparkles all around the place. 
Shown here is how I apply the clear coat. Now at this point, paint markers tend to smear, especially those of darker color, for example, black, which is very obvious when it smears. So once you apply this even layer, make sure to do some touch-ups so that your masterpiece is complete without flaw. And of course, we have another slow-mo of this completed calculator lid of a koi fish. I assure you this looks way less pink in person versus on camera. Oh, and look, what do you know? Speak of the devil, it's another slow-mo. And before doing this project, I didn't really like green, but turns out my opinion has changed. And last but not least, we have the calculator lid with the two jellyfish. This calculator in particular was the shortest amount of time I spent on it. It was 30 minutes for the painting process, and I believe maybe less than 10 minutes for the sketching. So it was really nice, quick, and simple. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.